Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel. Today we're introducing to you Miss Jessica Alexandria. She is going to share with you all about the magic in the stars. I hope you enjoy her astrology as much as I have. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel or Bahati Life podcast if you're tuning in on that platform. Guys, I have a very very exciting transit update for you astrological transit update and it is drum roll please the fact that venus is finally moving direct september 4th after being retrograde since july 22nd of this year now why is this exciting well because for most of us we personally felt impacted by this raise your hand if you were personally victimized by venus retrograde Mm -hmm. myself included i felt it i felt it where do we normally feel this we can feel this in our relationships because venus rules love we can also feel this in our relationship with ourself our self-worth our self-value amplified by the fact that this transit particularly this time was transiting through the sign of leo which rules our self-expression which rules our self-worth which rules our value our ability to create and to find what we've created worth it then we take those projections that insecurity that self-doubt or maybe that confidence and then we put that into the world and then that will show how the world views us and how they value us but at the end of the day it stems from how you felt about your yourself first and foremost these issues could have been brought up as you were unfortunately but also fortunately called to revisit for some of us childhood trauma childhood triggers conversations that we hold in our heads things that we tell ourselves that we're not worth it that we're asking too much or that now's not the right time, or it's better to be seen, not heard. And they make us question our own value. Sometimes too, Venus retrograde will show you and reveal to you the parts of you that have settled. The parts of you that have decided that here is safe and I choose safety over risk because I don't trust that there will be a worthy reward for me in the future and that can limit you greatly it can limit you greatly venus retrograde will reveal to you the parts of you that said that i know that you thought that this is what you've wanted but this isn't it this isn't it there's so much more out there for you and if that means that you need to pause and re reassess and reflect then do that before deciding that this is where you stop or that everything is going to fall at a standstill and it ends here it doesn't it doesn't there's so much more that continues and carries on venus also rules our money it doesn't rule our resources though but i want to bring that up because venus is in leo but venus naturally rules taurus and taurus has been getting the sledgehammer from uranus's transit through that sign and it makes us question again our our resources is there enough for me if there isn't enough for me, do I feel secure in what I have? What does the future hold? Does it feel stable? Again, even though Venus isn't transiting through Taurus, it's still triggering this energy and Uranus transiting through Taurus is very unpredictable to say the least. So even though this retrograde doesn't necessarily touch on that exclusively, we are still definitely feeling it. So very interested in hearing how this retrograde has been for you so far for me it has definitely been hmm let me think i think um i think in my own journey i've been invited to reassess not in a bad way definitely feels good reassess and to reestablish myself in certain places in my life so that i'm able to maybe not necessarily enjoy the fruits of my labors but understand what they look like 
I don't know another way better to say that. I hope you guys are feeling me or put it, picking up what I'm putting down. But it feels, it's been very, not revealing for me, but it's been very an adventure of the heart. And that's been a beautiful thing. It's been very, very exhilarating and heart opening for me, as I'm sure it has been for many of you. I do want to say that now that Venus is moving direct, we won't totally feel these energies lifting up off of our shoulders because remember we have Pluto retrograde, Saturn retrograde, Chiron retrograde, Mercury retrograde, and right after Venus goes direct, Jupiter is going to go retro is going to join and go retrograde. Jupiter currently is in the sign of Taurus as well. So we will definitely have to talk about this in an upcoming video. So this is where I want you guys to um, decide to consider or open up to the idea of subscribing to the YouTube channel or following the podcast because my intention is to continue to come forward with more videos explaining these transits, of course. I also want to say, too, that there is a gift here. Sometimes it's hard to see the gift if you don't know exactly what it is that you're looking for, but if that's the case, that's where you have me, right? Looking at these charts, it's easy to groan and say, oh my God, there's so many planets that are retrograde right now and having me to look within and to look down or to look towards the past when all I want to do is see a breakthrough and move forward towards that. What goals do I have for myself? What visions do I have for myself? I've been setting intentions since the beginning of time. When are they going to manifest? And if they manifest, what is this going to look like? I'm ready for relief. I love that. I'm not stopping you. I'm encouraging you. I promise you. However, Venus retrograde is a reminder of again the parts of us that have settled the parts of us that didn't ask for enough and the parts of us that have been exhausted and depleted because of that and now that she is moving forward and now that you understand and then you're watching jupiter the planet of abundance and expansion and philosophy and wisdom now moving retrograde in the sign that is ruled by venus taurus here we have an amazing opportunity until the end of the year to begin to reevaluate the picture that we saw for ourselves. Is it actually big enough? Is it actually what you want? Is this actually what you see for yourself? Or is this an opportunity to learn, to grow, to explore, to expand, and do different? And it's quick. It's easy for us to say that I want to go bigger, especially with Jupiter. Jupiter, again, rules expansion, but it also rules wisdom. It also rules philosophy. What are your core values right now? What do they look like? Because I promise you, they've adjusted in a great way, a great way, and are going to continue to adjust, especially as Uranus and Jupiter are transiting through the sign of Taurus right now. This is what we value and prioritize the most, especially when it comes to things that we want to invest our time, our energy, our money, our resources in, and definitely the things that make us feel stable and secure and comfortable while we are spending our time here on earth. What does that look like for you? For some of us, it was about go bigger, go harder, and now it's more about quality versus quantity. It's about the enjoyment, the fulfillment that we feel in our day-to-day -day lives and not so much how hard we can go and how far we can go, but what it feels like along the journey. At least that's what it's been like for me. So... Like I said, it's very easy to fall into that mindset of just like another retrograde planet. How could we? How could it be? I don't want this. I don't like this. But at the end of the day, ultimately, this is a tremendous gift to go within, to disconnect 
that's one thing that is so rare these days is the ability to completely disconnect and to rediscover yourself without the opinion, the voices, the energy of the external world or others. What does it look like for you? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me now. I'm going to let you go, but thank you again. Gratitude tremendously from me to you now for being here in this moment, and I hope, I hope our paths align. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.